What is up everybody, I am Legend and in this episode of Sound Architect, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make vocals sound clean, that is how to make your vocals in each song that you record sound the best, crisp and clean as you possibly can using five really dope Waves plugins and one really dope one built right into GarageBand. Let's go. Okay, so getting clean vocals in GarageBand, in Logic, whatever program it is you're using to record your vocals is really actually a very simple process and I'm going to show you guys the chain that I use and the plugins that I use to get my vocals to sound clean with nearly any mic setup that I have. Obviously, you want to have a better mic when you start recording so that your sound off the bat already sounds pretty good, but you know, if you don't have the best equipment, then these plugins will definitely help you kind of take a step in the right direction. So I'm going to be talking about six different plugins, five of them are waves plugins so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the before and after of what i'm going to be basically doing so the raw vocal that i recorded sounds a little bit something like this you said you really want to go there it doesn't have to go and say will you spend the night on my bed you hear the background noises and everything. But do you really want to go there? So just the first part of a little verse that I'm working on uh, within this song called Spend the Night, which will be out pretty soon. Now, this is what I'm going to achieve with all the plugins that I add after the fact. You said you really want to go there. <laughs> it doesn't have to go unsaid. Will you spend the night in my bed? silence as you guys can hear the in-betweens are very silent everything sounds a little bit more crisp a little bit more warm and a little bit more evenly you know spaced out volume wise so basically what i do when i record my vocals i first like to start off with what is called a noise gate a noise gate is basically a uh, it's a plugin that's going to take out all the background noises the hissing the computer hums or the fans that's going on in the background all of the random noise that you don't want to hear it's going to do its best to cut out those noises and then also the in-betweens like when i'm taking a break breath when my chair is squeaking and doing stupid stuff like that the noise gate is going to really help for garage band users i got you so you would click on the track that you want to edit make sure you're selected on this little knob right here in the left corner and then it's going to show you all the recording settings and the plugins down here now you want to expand the plugins whatever presets you have selected those plugins will show here but if it's empty you would basically click click this button right here and you would come to dynamics and then you would scroll down and select the noise gate. Now, when you select that, this little menu right here will pop up and it's going to have the threshold. Now, this is a really super simple noise gate. Um, it does get the job done, especially for beginners. It's free. It comes with GarageBand. So basically, the more you turn this up to the right, the more noise is going to cut out of your track. So I'm going to just leave it on 62 and you'll see the difference that it makes. You can still hear the background noises. You said you really want to go there. But the more I turn it up, watch it what happens. Have to go and say, will you spend the night on my bed? See, it's cutting off my vocals now. But do you really want to go there? Silence. Are we getting to a head? Uh, the signs aren't misread. So basically, so you want to have it somewhere where it's not going to cut out your vocals itself, but you do want to cut out those background noises because the less amount of background noises that you have, the more cleaner your vocal is going to sound. And also the less cuts you're going to have to make in the track itself, like as demonstrated right here, if you guys can see, this is where I actually had to manually cut out dead space because there was you know, that hissing in the background. I don't have to do that if I put a noise gate on there. Once we have our noise gates, when you think cleaner vocals, especially for singers, you think vocals that are on key, obviously. So the next thing that I personally would put in here is a auto tuning plugin from Waves. So this is not a built-in, this is not the built-in pitch correction within GarageBand. This is actually Waves Tune, which comes from Waves and it is a highly more advanced auto tuning feature than what is built into GarageBand. And I would do a separate video demonstrating just how dope it is. But uh, in this, case i'm just going to show you how to use like wave tunes light to basically just clean up your vocals really fast get the right notes you want to come down here select this thing again go to audio units waves and then here you would select waves tune right here now when this screen first pops up this is all going to be blank um, and what you want to do with waves tune is you have to play the song after you record the vocal um, and it will basically register each note that you sing here and it's going to show you all the individual notes that you can edit within this window super crazy like tedious work but it's really dope so let's just press play here let it register you said you really want to go there it doesn't have to go and say will you spend the night on my bed 
So this, for example, this is where the project key comes into play. This is in a B major. So we want to make sure the root down here is set in B and the scale is set in major because this is going to auto tune our vocals. Now we're going to do a really quick auto tuning here. Once again, we're talking about cleaning up your vocals. We're not talking about precision editing right now, but just getting the clearest, most crisp vocals. So you want to highlight these right here using a uh, waves tune. Once you're in there, you're going to see three different knobs to turn down at the bottom. So there's speed, note transition, and ratio. Uh, basically speed is how fast the auto tune plugin is going to switch your vocal to the next note that is coming. The more you have this turned down, the faster the notes are going to switch. So it'll sound a little bit more robotic. I don't like to have it turned down so much because I like my vocals to sound, to sound more human. Um, the note transition that's going to be like how smooth the transition is from one note to the next note this kind of plays into the roboticness of how your vocals are going to sound the more turned down you have this note transition um, the more robotic your vocals are going to sound because it's going to transition from one note to the next note with no in between like flutters or anything like that I like to have it in a natural like human sounding threshold and then the ratio is the uh, basically if you have it 100% to the right that's going to be the correct note that your vocal is trying to sit on versus the original note that you sang is all the way to the left so I also like to kind of mess around with this basically you want to make it sound human not too robotic but you you, you do want to correct your notes so what I like to do is so we'll go like this and then we'll put the speed down to about seven that's what I usually like note transition I usually take down to about 25 and then the ratio I'll leave it at 100 for now so this really helps to clean up those little minor details those minor off notes those very small intricate details about a vocal track you said you really want to go there it doesn't have to go unsaid will you spend the night in my bed versus this you said you really want to go there it doesn't have to go unsaid will you spend the night in my bed and then the next thing that I would go ahead and do is get this vocal rider. Now what a vocal rider is, basically the term rider is like some, somebody's finger is on the knobs. So you see this slider here in the, the interface. Basically what, if I was riding this slider right here, my finger would be on it the entire time. So that's basically what it, what it means. Um, as somebody is recording their vocals, there's gonna be points where their vocals sound a lot more closer and sound a lot more far away. Uh, some, uh, some parts might sound loud, some parts might sound really quiet and things like that. So the job of a vocal writer is to basically ride the vocals in terms of volume to make sure that all of the vocals can be heard equally one part's not going to sound too loud one part's not going to sound too quiet and then the parts where you may be dropping off doesn't have to go on set spin the night on my bed like when i'm fading out at the end vocal rider is going to turn up automatically my vocals once they fade out a little bit more so that the listener can still hear whatever it is i'm saying at the end of a phrase your uh, notes won't get lost what you're saying won't get lost the vocal writer is basically there to help your vocals stand out in a mix and help your vocals to, to just be heard. And if I play it without the writer, you can tell my vocals are kind of bouncing around. You said you really want to go there. Go there. It doesn't have to go and say. Go and say. Will you spend the night in my bed? So there are some louder parts here, some quieter parts here, some louder parts here, quieter parts here. So if I turn this vocal rider on, I basically selected a preset right here of a, what is it, a smooth ride because I want my vocals to ride smoothly. I don't want the changes to be so quick and the rider to be going up and down all insane. So we'll see the difference that this makes here. And you'll notice the knob kind of going up and down to match basically what it is I have set in this uh, plugin. So basically, uh, I have my target volume set to negative 24.5. The vocal sensitivity. So that's basically how sensitive this rider, this ride is going to be. Um, I'll have it set right about here. I'm going to have it react slowly because I don't want this thing to be bouncing around all over the place. Fast seems a little too unnatural to me. So I like to keep it on slow. Um, the output I leave at zero. And then the range I'll leave between um, the six plus six and negative six. And then we'll see how this writer kind of helps equal out the vocal volume. You said you really want to go there. 
It doesn't have to go unsaid. Will you spend the night in my bed? Notice how it's doing that work. <laughs> but do you really want to go there? But are we getting to a head? I hope the signs aren't misread. As the end of the phrasing comes in, you'll notice the vocal writer turns itself up. And the louder I get, like parts right here, it turns itself down. So dope. I don't even have to do anything. So um, vocal writer is very good for cleaning up the volumes of your tracks. After I do the vocal writer, then I like to add in my compressor. Now the compressor also adds a little bit of character to your vocals. That's something that I will talk about in a separate video as well. A compressor also helps to regulate the volume, I'll say, of your vocals. So it'll uh, allow them to stand out more uh, while giving them a bit of character. So the plugin that I decided to use is the CLA 2A compressor. Um, the left is going to be your gain so basically what is going to be going into the compressor and the peak reduction is going to be how much is going to squash your vocals so the more you turn this up the more squashed down this wave form will be basically so it's going to keep your vocals within this parameter like not too low not too high everything's going to be equal here so i like to in this case i turn mine down to 45.60 um, and i turn the peak reduction up to about 60 and we will see what that does so like without the uh compressor it sounds like this you said you really want to go there <laughs> it doesn't have to go and say will you spend the night in my bed and then with the compressor, it sounds like this. You said you really want to go there. More volume. <laughs> it doesn't have to go and say. Everything. Will you spend the night in my bed? You can see it's kind of working in harmony with the vocal rider. Everything is kind of almost said visible, but it's not my eyes. Everything um, can be heard well. So the end of my phrases, when it's fading out right here at the end of this little phrase right here, that can be heard very well. These quiet parts. Even though they're re they were recorded quiet, more quieter than the part that was immediately following, the volume and the sound of them both pretty much match as you're listening to it here. It doesn't have to go and say. And then like this part right here, when I first recorded it, do you really want to go there? Like it was really like, ah. but with the compressor and the vocal rider turned on. You said you really want to go there. There, there is no, uh, like, uh, there is none of that effect that it feels like my vocals are trying to come out at you and punch you in the face. Everything is equal. Um, this also has a bunch of presets that you can use. That's what I like about all these Waves plugins. You can, uh, if you don't really know too much about what you're doing, you have some presets that you can select to get yourself started. Um, this is really how you figure out how to work this stuff. This is how I figure out how to work things. I, I mess with the presets and then I just start turning a bunch of knobs. But just to kind of give you a brief overview of what each thing does, you know, I, I tried to do the best to explain. Last, what I like to do in my vocal cleaning process is basically um, DS, D harsh, and D box my vocals. Now, what I mean by that is there is a boxy sounding frequency within a vocal. Um, there's going to be a lot of S's, a lot of harsh uh, S and F and D sounds like that and there's also going to be a very harsh frequency um depending on what kind of microphone you're using what other kind of filters you have on there and and all that different kind of stuff so there is a specific uh plugin that covers all of those aspects and this is the reason why i bought it why i like it very much because it's very simple to use so it's the manny marl quinn um, triple D's so it's a D boxy D harsher and a D esser I will not be using the D esser in this program because I like the D esser of the next plugin that I'm going to be showing you guys but the D boxy and the D harsher I will be showing you how to use so basically what this plugin does is it finds it lets you find the most uh, prominent frequency that has the worst sounding elements to it so the boxy uh, section right here it'll let you solo the boxy frequency and find the most harsh boxy parts um the d harsher it'll it'll let you solo the frequency the harsh part of the frequency and let you find the most harsh sounding frequencies of those vocals um and then basically what you do when you find that specific part you turn this knob up on whichever one that you want to uh make less harsh or less boxy or uh, kill the s's of and that'll basically limit those noises or the, that that sound uh an example we'll play this uh right here 
I wanna spend the night with you cause you stay fly See your red light is green so let's keep it in drive So basically uh, this plugin, very simple to use You have your bypass here which basically uh, turns on and off that uh, limiting effect so what you want to do is you want to uh, click on this little um, speaker icon here and that lets you solo the boxy part of the frequency of those vocals and yeah, make sure it's on I want to spend the night with your country stay fly see your red light is green so let's keep it in drive I wanna spend the night with you cause you stay flat You no. red light is green so let's keep it in drive Basically what you're trying to do is you're moving this frequency knob around to find the most boxy part so like the most part of the so. <laughs> It's very hard to explain uh, but it's boxy vocals. The more it sounds like your vocals are in a box, like you know if, if you put a phone inside of a cup and play the music from a speaker, it basically sounds it's got that boxy sound to it. So you want to eliminate that. So um, let's do this. I want to spend the night with you cause you stay fly. See your red light is green so let's keep it in drive. I want to spend the night with you cause say you right stay about fly. See your red light is green here. so let's keep it in drive. I want to spend the night with you cause you stay fly. See your red light is green so let's keep it. And then you can turn the knob up to basically limit that frequency. So I'll show you what that sounds like here. I want to spend the night with you cause you stay fly See your red light is green so let's keep it in drive I See how quiet it gets you fly, Now we're still on solo so I'll show you what it sounds like with the actual vocals itself Without soloing the frequency And you can notice the difference that it makes I want to spend the night with you cause you stay fly See your red light is green so let's keep it in drive I wanna spend the Notice night how it took, you you stay in this case I took way too much off, it's turned all the way up so the vocals, um, they do sound, it's missing an element so you don't want to cut off too much of that frequency because uh, just like anything in life, um, you can have too much of something but also some of those imperfect parts are what make the vocal the vocal so you want to leave a little bit a little bit of that boxy in there don't go crazy within my oh a d harsh or a ds let me just turn it up full blast no because you're going to kill um and take off some of the frequencies within the vocal that should be there so i think i had it right about here i normally don't turn this up past the the, the little bypass sign um so i'd say probably right about there i want to spend the night with you because you stay fly see your red light is green so let's keep it in drive I wanna spend the night with you cause you stay fly See your red light is green so let's keep it in drive So then once we do that I'm gonna come to the D harsher and do the exact same thing I'm gonna solo the frequency here fly. We're gonna find the most harsh sounding frequency within this vocal I wanna spend the night with you cause you stay fly See your red light is green so let's keep it in drive I wanna spend the night the with high you cause end, you stay fly See your red light is low. green so let's keep it in drive I'd say right about there I wanna spend the night with you cause you stay fly See your red light is green so let's keep it in drive Boom! Now we go to the very last part um, of this whole vocal cleaning process uh, This is a plugin called Symbolance and basically it is a de-esser a, a specific de-esser, just a de-esser um, And I like the way that this kind of has a visual to go with how much it's taking off of your vocals so basically the detection right here you're gonna find this section this is how much of the s is it detecting notice in the in the top bar here it'll, it'll show the vocals and how the green will be the s's that it's detecting and this line at the top is how much it's taking off so if i have it all the way down to zero I wanna spend it's not the detecting night anything you stay fly. See your red light is green so let's keep it in drive I wanna spend the night with you cause you stay fly See your red light is green so let's keep it in drive I wanna spend the night with you cause you stay right fly See your red light is green so let's keep it in drive uh, And then the threshold that's gonna be how much of the S is it taking off So the more I turn it this way to the uh, left basically the negative That's how much of the S is going to take off So um, as you can see it's kind of limiting the, the with the lines here closing And that's, that's it taking the S's off I came down to basically about 20 negative 20 and then uh we i just leave this here on 50 and i want to spend uh basically if you click this monitor button right here you can monitor just the 
noises, the S, the S, 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 F, 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 and all the, those harsh sounds that it's taking off. So if it's too much, if it's taking off a little bit more of your word, or if it's taking off too much of an S, you can monitor that with, by clicking this. It'll solo just that and mute the rest of your vocals. And then uh, this range right here, this is basically how low or how high is it going to allow what it's taking off to be heard. So I, if you see this, uh, this little bar right here, you'll see that like the, basically the S sounds and all that stuff. It'll show you right here. If I move it down more, you'll see in the top menu here, it'll take it down more. I I leave my range right about there because I don't want to take too much off. I want to spend the night with you because you stay fly. See your red light is green, so let's keep it in drive. I want to spend the night with you because you stay fly. See your red light is green, so let's keep it in drive. I okay, once again, listen to this before and after. So this is the before. I want to spend the night with you because you stay fly. See your red light is green, so let's keep it in drive. And then this is our after. I want to spend the night with you because you stay fly. See your red light is green, so let's keep it in drive. Boom. So that is how you clean up your vocals in GarageBand using five really dope Waves plugins and one really dope built-in GarageBand plugin. If you want to download any of the plugins featured in today's video, there will be links down in the description where you can download each and every one of those plugins. If you guys have any questions or comments about today's video, anything that you want to know about how to clean up your vocals or questions about the plugins, uh, be sure to leave a comment down below. I will be answering all questions and comments as I always do on all of my videos. Glad to have you guys watching these videos. I hope they help you in some way. If they did, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on the bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. So I'll see you guys next week. And as always, stay legendary. Ah.